This is a bottle of Dr. Bronner's soap. You might have seen it before at your grocery store or Target or whatever. Um, the thing that makes it unique, or you know, eye-catching, I guess, is that it's completely covered in writing. Have you ever actually read what's on one of these bottles? It's absolute batshit crazy. So today, I just have one question. Dr. Bronner, what the fuck? So this one is an 18-in-1 hemp peppermint pure castile soap. Whatever that means. Absolute cleanliness is godliness. Teach the moral ABC that unites all mankind free. Instantly six billion strong and we're all one. Listen, children. Eternal father, eternally one. What? As taught by the moral ABC, the real rabbi Hillel taught Jesus to unite all mankind free. Who the, who the fuck is Hillel? First, if I'm not for me, who am I? Nobody. Second, yet if I'm only for me, what am I? Nothing. Third, if not now, when? Once more, unless constructive selfish, I work hard perfecting first me. Absolute nothing can help perfect me. Absolute nothing. Exceptions none. Fourth, only hard work. God's law can save us, but if we teach only our clan, we're all hated then. So Hillel taught Jesus, we must teach friend and enemy. Hmm. The whole human race. The full truth. Hard work. Free speech. Press. And profit sharing. Moral ABCs. All one God faith. Uniting the whole human race. For we're all one or none. As teach for 6,000 years, the African shepherd astronomers, Abraham and Israel, since the year one. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. Exceptions eternally? None. Absolute none. This is written like it's by some non-native English speaker that has a poor understanding of English and is also crazy. Absolute none. African shepherd astronomers. Sure. Makes sense to me. Fifth. Whatever unites mankind is better than whatever divides us. Yet, if absolute unselfish, I am not for me. Yet, if absolute unselfish, I am not for me. I am but classless, raceless, starving masses, a slave, never free nor brave. It's like, it's almost like it's trying to be a song. Like, it, they're trying to be lyrical and rhyme, except only, you know, one in seven sentences actually rhymes, and the rest is just nonsense. Well, the rhyming stuff is nonsense too. Only if constructive selfish... What is constructive selfish? Only if constructive selfish, I work hard perfecting first me. Like every arctic owl, penguin, pilot, cat, swallow, beaver, bee, can I teach the moral ABCs, all one God faith, the real rabbi, Hillel, taught Jesus to unite all mankind free. Yeah, I've heard that one before. How many times are you going to say it? What the fuck is an arctic owl doing teaching the moral ABCs? Sixth, absolute cleanliness is godliness. Yeah, I heard that one before. Balanced food for body, mind, soul, spirit is our medicine. This has happened like eight times now. They put like six words together with hyphens, trying to make it into one word. Body, mind, soul, spirit. Full truth, our God. Half truth, our enemy. Hard work, our salvation. Unity, our goal. Free speech, our weapon. All one, our soul. Self-discipline, the key to freedom. Unity, love, unites all one above. It's kind of rhyming now. For we're all one, as teach for 6,000 years astronomers Abraham and Israel. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. As teach for 6,000 years. Not as taught, as teach. Exceptions eternally, absolute none. This is getting repetitive. So when your fellow man you measure, take him at his best. With that lever, lift him higher, overlook the rest. For we're all one or none. Ah, oh, it's all coming together now. I get it. Well, that's the first line. There's a fuck ton on here. This is going to take forever to get through. Let's see what the side says. The second coming of God's law. Muhammad's Arabs, 1948, found Israel a scene scrolls in Einstein's Hillel. Einst what? Einstein's Hillel? Prove that as no six-year-old can grow up free without the ABC, so certain can no 12-year-old survive free without the moral ABC that Mason, Tent, and Sandal Maker, Rabbi Hillel, so he was a rabbi, a Mason, and he made tents and sandals. Wow, he's a well-rounded guy. He taught Carpenter Jesus. 
oh, Jesus was just a carpenter. Hillel's got like four more occupations on Jesus. To unite all mankind free in our eternal father's great all one God faith. For we're all one or none. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. That's the catchphrase and they repeat it a lot. Well, absolute cleanliness is godliness and listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. No commas in there to make it more intelligible, just words. Okay, what is this moral ABCs? Ah. The moral ABC. Let's let's see if that explains it for us. The moral ABC, introduced by Kipling's If and soap maker Bronner. If you can talk to crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings and not lose that common touch. If neither loving friend nor enemy can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. Oh, this is catchy. If you can work hard to teach each forgiving minute, all one God, faith, Mason, Hillel, taught carpenter Jesus to unite the human race. Come hell, hate, ban, you'll enjoy God's spaceship Spaceship Earth, you'll enjoy God's spaceship Earth and do great work within it. And which is more, my son, you'll be a man. A man! Sure, east is east and west is west, and never the twain shall meet. But there is neither east nor west, nor border, breed nor birth, once the moral ABC unites all mankind free on God's spaceship Earth. So there's east and west, but there's not east and west. Nope. And, uh, spaceship Earth. What the fuck? Then, and only then, no matter how rough the trip, how charged with punishment the scroll, you are the captain of thy ship, the master of thy soul. Wow. Inspiring. Each day, like a bird, perfect thyself first, to have courage and smile, my friend. Yes, all the birds I know perfect themselves first. Think and act ten years ahead, and the man without fault, he's dead! Oh, okay. Do one thing at a time. Work hard. Get done. Then teach friend and enemy how to work hard and how to love. For God is love, uniting all one above in God's eternal all one God faith. So far this isn't teaching me what the moral ABCs are. To dream that impossible dream, to reach that unreachable star, till all one, all one we are, to fight that unbeatable foe, to go where the brave dare not go, to right the unrightable wrong, to love pure, chaste from afar, to try till your arms are too weary, to reach that unreachable star, till all one, all one we are. For this is my goal, to reach that unreachable star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. For I know that if I follow this glorious quest, my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest. And I know that the world will be better for this, that one man, tortured, blinded, covered with scars, still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach that unreachable star, till united all one we are. These are the days, my friend. We know they'll never end. We'll work, sing, dance, love, marching on. We live God's law today. We free speech, okay. With ten men and full truth, our only God, we rally, raise, unite, all one, all one. I feel like I should be saying this in like a, like an old timey voice. A human being works hard to love his enemy, to help unite all mankind free. Oh, well, that being is not yet human, so go the second mile. Hold the other cheek brave, not meek. For we're all one or none, all one. Exceptions, eternally none, absolute none. 22nd, how did we get from 4th to 22nd? Small minds decay, average minds delay. Great minds teach all one today. Win victory and all stand by you. Give up, all deny you. Remember, the only difference between the brave and the coward, the brave has an ideal to fight for, such as teaching the moral ABC, that at once unites the human race in all one God faith, as teach Abraham and Israel, inspired by the messenger of God's law, the sign of the Messiah, Halley's Comet, the blazing star of Abraham, David, Buddha, Bethlehem, and Muhammad. Oh, all of them. So Halley's Comet is the blazing star of Abraham, David, Buddha, Bethlehem, and Muhammad. When the half-truth is gone and we are dust, the full truth we print, protect, and teach alone lives on. Full truth is God, it must. Help teach the whole human race the moral ABC of all one God faith. Lightning like six billion strong and in our eternal father's kingdom, we're all one. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. So that was everything out of the moral ABC section. Okay, let's go back to um, the next part. Seventh, now we're on the right track. Each swallow works hard to be a perfect pilot, provider, builder, trainer, teacher, lover, mate. No half true hate. Have courage and smile, my friend. Think and act ten years ahead. Find the man without fault. He's dead. Do one thing at a time. Work hard, get done. Then teach friend and enemy how to work, love, unite. All mankind free. Uniting one, all one. Face the world with a smile. Life is always worthwhile. So the fearful are given jewels. Keep out of the past. Disappointments won't last. Help unite mankind or we're wandering fools. Repetition is the key to knowledge. 
That's why they're doing it. They're just, I get it now. So, help unite all one. Okay, ninth. What's ninth? Where is eighth? There is no eighth. Guess eighth wasn't good enough. Free speech is man's only weapon against half-truth that denies free speech to smear, slay, slander, tax, enslave. Full truth, our only God, unites all mankind brave. If ten men guard free speech, brave. Why? What's with ten men? If ever one religion unites all mankind, it will be by omitting all irrelevancies and redundancies. I thought they, w they wanted to be redundant. Added unto the faith in one almighty, all-embracing, ever-loving, ever-evolving, ever-recreating, eternal God, and by absolute nothing else. All caps there. All caps. America's founding father, Thomas Paine, eight books suppressed since 1799. Six million years of kill or be killed, half-true hate must be replaced by love and teach love. Full truth, uniting all one God faith. You know, some of these sentiments I can get on board with. If only it wasn't fucked up broken English. Okay, we're on a tenth now. What's tenth gonna be? Tenth. Thank God we don't descend down from perfect Adam and Eve to sinful sinner, brother's keeper, divided slave. Thank God. United armed, loving, hard working, trained, brave. From dust we ascend up. Thank God for that. Our brother's teacher of the moral ABC, mason, tent, and sandal maker Hillel, taught carpenter Jesus. They just keep ragging on about how much better Hillel was than Jesus. All those sandals he made. To unite all mankind free. With it, every human being can evolve united, inspired, raised, trained, skilled, disciplined, guided, lightning-like by a new birth. Without it, we destroy God's spaceship Earth. Akhnathan Baha'u. What the fuck? Akhnathan Baha'u. Baha'u Allah. Buddha, Confucius, Moses, Hillel, Jesus, Muhammad, inspired every 76 years by the messenger of God's law. Halley's Comet. Teach. A fire. A mist. A planet. A crystal. A cell. A jellyfish. A dinosaur. They're just saying words now. Caves where cavemen dwell. Then a sense for work, love, song, art, play, law, beauty. A face turned up from the sod. Twelfth. A great teacher must first self-supporting be. Is this Yoda? A great teacher must first self-supporting be. Like Allison M.D., Berlin Rabbi Bake, Martin Buber, Carnegie, Marva Collins, Cousteau, Edison, Rabbi Liebman, Payne, Margaret Sanger, Baruch Spinoza, Strauss, Dr. Thomas Saz, Wendell Wilkie, Yadin, and Zamenhof, or he will turn our greatest teachings into spades into which to bury our people. Man, they're just name dropping all over the place. All people, added Carpenter Jesus, entering manhood. Manhood! But for 2,000 years, we rabbis never teach the moral ABC that the real rabbi Hillel taught Jesus. They keep on saying real rabbi. Are, are all the rest of the rabbis fake rabbis? To unite the human race in astronomy's eternally tremendous all one God faith. Ah, yes. Yes, that. For we're all one or none. All one. Exceptions eternally? Absolute none. Oh, did you guess that part? I bet you did. God bless the food and bless the loving hands that prepared it. Bless it to give us strength and bless that strength so we use it to help unite the whole human race in thy kingdom, all one God faith. So far, None of this is about soap. Thirteenth, knowing the full truth that unites the human race and not teaching all is deathly guilt. Learned carpenter Jesus from Mason Rabbi Hillel. He learned it. What an apology we rabbis owe Israel, Marx, Mao, all mankind, with just six words eternally unites the human race. So rabbis owe Karl Marx and Chairman Mao an apology? As it teaches African shepherd astronomy, Israel eternally won. For on God's spaceship Earth, with bomb and gun, we are all one or none. I think they ran out of things to rhyme with. We're all one, all one, all one. Wow, that repeats it a lot. Exceptions eternally? Yep, yep, you know it. You know how it goes. Absolute none. These are the days, my friend. We know they'll never end. We'll work, sing, dance, love, marching on. Marching on. We live God's law each day. We win free speech. Okay. With full truth, our only God, we rally, raise, unite, all one. Say it with me. All one. All one. I feel it in my soul. Again and again. We're all one or none. Therefore, six million Dr. Bronner's magic soaps teach the moral ABC that six billion strong unites all mankind free in astronomy's eternally great all one God faith. Is that the conclusion? 
I think it might have been. They got six million Dr. Bronner's magic soaps, the purpose of which is not to make you clean, it's to convert you to be a shepherd astronomer, like I always wanted. Probably a sandal maker too, actually. You know, let's take a break from the, from the crazy. Let's read the directions. Enjoy only two cosmetics, enough sleep, and Dr. Bronner's magic soap to clean body, mind, soul, spirit instantly, a uniting one. Absolute cleanliness is godliness. For facial packs, scalp, and soothing body rub, add dash on bath towel in sink of hot water. Ring out, lay over face and scalp, massage with fingertips. Repeat three or four times till arms, legs, and all are rubbed. Always towards the heart, rub towards the heart. Rinse towel in plain hot water and massage again. Breathe deeply, that's how you use it. Dilute, enjoy one soap for 18 different uses. Shave, shampoo, shower, bath, mop, launder, degrease. That's not 18, that's seven. Where are the rest? That's only seven uses, Dr. Bronner. I don't see it. What else can you do with it? Is, is it fuel for your spaceship? Okay, well, Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile is the very best soap for body, home, and spaceship Earth. There it is, it is the fuel. Synthetic preservatives, detergents, foaming agents, none. Health is our greatest wealth. Enjoy body rub to stimulate body, mind, soul, spirit, and teach the Essene moral ABC, uniting all free and the shepherd astronomer Israel's greatest all one God faith. There's only seven uses for this 18 in one hemp peppermint, Dr. Bronner. What's up with that? It's certified fair trade though, and it's made with organic oils. Hey, and it's a 100% post-consumer recycled bottle, so they've got that going for them at the very least. And it is two to three times more concentrated than many leading liquid soaps, cleansers, and body washes. Clouds when cold, put in warm room slash water, clears at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Warning, don't drink the soap, keep out of eyes. If cap clogs, poke it clear. Do not squeeze bottle and shoot out soap. Soap can clog and spurt with pump dispensers. Flush eyes well, with water for 15 minutes. Consult a position if irritation persists. Hey, that was actually complete English, I think. In all we do, let us be generous, fair and loving to spaceship Earth and all its inhabitants, for we're all one or none, all one. Wow, what inspiring rhetoric. There's just a few more passages I have yet to read. Dilute, dilute. Okay, one small squirt applied to wet hands or washcloths to wash hands, face, body. Okay, hands, face, body, that's, that's three. Work half a tablespoon into wet hair Rinse with Dr. Bronner's organic hair rinse. Okay, so there's a fourth use. Dilute 110 ratio with water for hand-washed dishes, best in soft water. Dishes, that's a fifth, okay? Maybe we're onto something here. For laundry, one third to one half cup soap in large load. Add half cup vinegar in rinse cycle. Okay, there's a sixth. Maybe it'll add up to 18. Mop floor, half a cup soap in three gallons of hot water. There's number seven. Wash dog by wetting fur, then massage soap in for good lather, rinse thoroughly. Dog washing, that is not a separate use. That's the same as body washing. That does not count. Okay, fine, if that counts, we'll say that's the eighth use. A dash in bowl of water to remove residue from fruits and veggies, rinse clean. Um, okay, well there's uh, nine uses. All purpose cleaner, add one fourth cup of soap to quart of water in spray bottle. Oh, come on, that's that's just cheating. All purpose cleaner, yeah, that's how you catch up to 18. Just say, oh, it does everything. Let's see, one tablespoon in quart of water to spray plants for bugs. Dash of cayenne optional, okay? It's an insecticide, or at least insect repellent. Okay, there's number 10. Shave face, underarms, legs. Lather up five to 10 drops in wet hands, apply. I think they're trying to say that shaving your face, your underarms, and your legs are all different uses, which would still, if that's true, still only add up to 13 uses, Dr. Bronner. So far, I have not found more than, well, 13, we got the degrease there, 14 uses. You, even if I'm being generous, you are still four uses short, okay? Okay, Dr. Bronner's is certified, that's good, it's vegan, which is a plus. It's non-GMO, not animal tested. I don't know what OCTCO is. It's fair for life, contains at least 70% fair for life, fair trade certified ingredients. 70% fair for life, Dr. Bronner, that's misleading. It's not completely fair for life. Is there slave labor involved in 30% of your ingredients? That doesn't sound very spaceship earth to me. Dr. Bronner's was founded in 1948 by Emanuel Bronner, a third generation German Jewish soap maker. He used the labels on his ecological soaps to spread his message that we must realize our transcendent unity across religious and ethnic divides or perish. We are all one or none. The business continues to be run by his family. Oh, that's it. 
He's a soap maker. You know the the phrase they say, uh, like standing on your soapbox. Oh, okay, okay. It's it's one of two things. It's either all a joke. It's all a play on that phrase. They're like, hey, we're soap makers. We you know we got soap boxes. Let's make a crazy sermon and put that on all of our packages. And like, uh huh, it's kind of cute. Or the phrase about the soapbox originated from Mr. Crazy Bronner. Doctor, sorry, I should be respectful. You know, he's shouting on the streets. He's saying, oh, one God, spaceship Earth, on his soapbox. And that's where it comes from. Two more sections. Let's learn about uh, From the Army of Principles by Thomas Paine, 1799. All right, I like Thomas Paine. Let's see, uh, let's see if this is accurate. 76. Where are these numbers coming from? The last number I saw was 13th. There was also in here a, a 22nd, and 144, 76. They're just 76. Americanism is the knowledge of, the loyalty, inspiration, or attachment to the army of principles of all one God faith. Thomas Paine never said that. All one God faith? I doubt he ever uttered those words. That lightning-like unite the human race. For all one or none. Exceptions eternally? Absolute none. Uh, oh, okay, apparently that was said by Noah Webster. Yeah, he said absolute none. He didn't have a good grasp over the English language, apparently. This one is a quote by Abraham Lincoln. We can no longer live half slave, half free. We unite the human race in all one God faith, or perish by half true hate. For all one or none. Lincoln, he knew about the all one or none thing. He was on board. He was a member of Spaceship Earth. This next one is George Washington. Governments, like fire, is our most useful servant. Which one's more useful? They can't both be the most useful. If fully controlled by us, it's citizens and government, exactly like fire. Oh, and government, exactly like fire, becomes our most destructive master if not fully controlled by the open majority of its productive working citizens. Fire is destructive if not controlled by the majority of its citizens? Exactly like fire. Only united, armed, vigilant, and trained, Swiss 6,000 year peace and freedom reigned. Exceptions? None. George Washington said that. Who would have thought? I've never stooped so low as to hate any man, for I've learned that in the long run, all mankind needs, wants, loves, whatever good work you've done, regardless of your race, color, nationality, or religion. Booker T. Washington, born a slave. You know, he probably said something along those lines. Did he really hyphenate his words like that? Needs, wants, loves? That seems like a Dr. Bronner trademark to me, you psychopath. If ever one religion reunites God's legions, it'll be by omitting all half-truths added onto all one God faith. That lightning-like, what is this about lightning-like? Lightning-like, unites the human race for we're all one or none. Listen, children, eternal father, eternal. As teach, since the year one, astronomers Abraham to Muhammad, inspired by the sign of the Messiah, Halley's Comet. That is right, Halley's Comet is the sign of the Messiah. Don't mistake it. An army of principles can penetrate where an army of soldiers cannot. It will succeed where diplomacy may fail. It will always unite the human race where all else divides, all one God faith. From American founding father, the world's first steel bridge builder, Thomas Paine's eight grade books, not taught since 1799. Thomas Paine is not the world's first steel bridge builder. The trouble is that the wrong people are always the most energetic, united, and intense, driving the hard workers to lose in self-defense. Oh, it's a song again. That fact alone brings Hitler's and Stalin's to power, and that will only change when we rally, raise, train, evolve, unite, the whole human race with the moral ABC and all one God faith. That's not even a quote. He just put that on this list. 107 now. The intensity of man's emotions is a greater driving force and more decisive than the sum total of his education, his money, plus the size of his brain. Proof? Einstein. Here's the last piece we haven't read yet. Oh, okay, so this is gonna give you some background, some history. From 29 to 44, soap maker master chemist Bronner built three American soap plants, trained nine chemists, licensed six of 53 patents for $60,000. But after 44, after losing father, mother, wife, almost his own life, tortured, blinded, he deeded to African astronomer Israel's 6,000 year great all one God faith, all of his patents, plants, products, profits, four new industries, plain temples, and town without toothache, potassium soda industry giving mankind a new mineral salt, calcium malt, corn sesame, mineral bouillon, and Dr. Braun's magic soaps. All one. In 47, after father, mother, wife mur murdered, okay, wait, father, mother, wife, hyphenated all those, murdered, our self-tortured blinded. Did he murder his father, mother, and wife? No, wait, it's hyphenated, so that makes it seem like it's just one person. His wife was also his father and his mother, and he murdered them. Oh, wait, oh okay, he might not have murdered them, but it seems like he did. Okay, he's Jewish, so maybe they died in a, uh, murdered 
himself tortured and blinded? We wrote this poem. To keep my health, to do my work, to love, to live, to see to it I gain and grow and give and give. Never to look beyond me, never to look behind me for an hour, never to wait in weakness, nor to brag in power. Always working, searching for more truth, more light, always writing, teaching what I found good and right. Robbed, starved, beaten, blinded, wide astray. Back with the full truth I've gained, back to the way. Smile, help teach the whole human race, the moral ABC of all one God faith, lightning like strong, and we're all one, all one. Wow. You know, in the beginning here, I think I was, I was bashing on Dr. Bronner a little bit, but after reading this entire bottle, I truly have come to understand what it's all about. Just murder your wife, mother, father, and follow the way to all one God faith, all one or none. You know what? I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to take the next step. I'm going to join Dr. Bronner's cult and um, become a captain of Spaceship Earth. What a lovely company. How on earth does somebody working at Target or wherever else they sell this stuff, how do they look at this bottle and think, yes, this is exactly what I would love to have on our shelves. It's not crazy at all. Nobody will feel like this is absolutely insane. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Cleanliness is godliness.